on, guys. Before I say more, before I go more in depth into this video and the upcoming videos, because I should probably know by the title of this video, it's a brand new series, I need to get a haircut and uh, I'm going to get it now. I also need some new rice because we're out of rice. So let's get it. I also have these horrible blisters from my new football shoes and they hurt like shit. <laughs> uh, walking is not fun right now. Why? Oh no! Oh no, dude! Alright, that was closed for some reason. It's open again Friday. I wanted to explain a little bit more about the series of course in this video. First, I'm gonna eat because I'm hungry. It's almost 12 o'clock. I'm getting my second meal of the day. I'm gonna go over the whole meal plan later in this video, probably after the food. So, got some rice, got some other ingredients, got some other stuff. I will be talking about it a little bit later. I also got like 10 Snickers. People are like, what the hell? Right now, let's eat some burgers, rice, and veggies. Um, I'll, be making, I'll be making food for two days. So I'm gonna do, instead of one cup, I'm gonna do two cups. Add two cups of water for 100% balance. The reason I switched to full-time burgers is purely because of the macros. I mean, I'll show you. Chicken is obviously pretty lean and stuff, but this is just really fatty. So every 100 grams is 19 grams of, pro, uh, of fats. I would say you get like 35 grams of fats just from two burgers, which is insane, which I was always struggling with fats. With chicken and stuff, you almost get no fat, so that's really annoying. Uh, carbs is really low, and, uh, and protein is the same. So 35 protein, which is not crazy high or anything, but it's good. So 35 protein, 35 fat, I just purely eat because the fat. Also, it's just chicken and turkey and stuff. I've ate it for so long and so many times, it just gets really boring and dry, and it's like very chewy, and, and burgers are really like moist and like really fatty, so it eats quite nice. Then obviously I ate the, the vegetables with it. Um, veggies are always good for you. I, I'm not sure if I named the, the, the series already in this video. I'm gonna call it the game game. And uh, this is Stefan's idea. I wanna shout out Stefan on Snapchat. I asked on Snapchat for you guys uh, to give me some ideas for names because I was struggling with the name. And someone said the game game. And I feel like it made like a lot of sense since gaining, you know, I'm gonna gain weight, gain muscle, and game gaming face plan and you know. The combination that my channel is pretty much about gaining and gaming so game game makes a lot of sense right one thing i do do nowadays is i roll my burgers so it makes them a little more flat which makes them more even to cook and it's a little bit faster when i roll them like this a little bit more flat it means they don't have to cook as long on each side and also the inside gets cooked correctly so we don't have any red meat uh, we just cook them well done so obviously i made a big mess because i can't fucking do anything but uh, the bulk life is on. This looks like delicious and I'm gonna spray some sweet chili sauce on that. This is for tomorrow. We're gonna let that cool off before we hit it in the fridge. And now it's just time to fucking devour this, bruh. Quickly before we head out to the gym, I wanna talk about a little bit why I'm doing this bulk. Obviously because I wanna fucking gain more muscle and more mass because I feel like I'm, I, I kind of this summer went on a little bit of a cut unintentionally. I lost some weight. At some point I was like 65 kilos. Which I would just let me do it in pounds so everyone understands. So at some point I was 65 kilos, which is 146 pounds. This morning I weighed in at 67.8, which makes 152 pounds, 152, 153-ish. Uh, my goal is to go to 75 kilos, which is uh, 169, 168 pounds. The plan is to do this for like 10, 12 weeks, see where we at. If things go faster or slower, we'll adjust to that. I have a standard thing that I eat every single day. Like every day I eat the same thing. Um, which comes down to approximately 2,200 calories. So that's what I eat every day standard. Um, that's not um, taking into account like dinner because I have no control over that because I still live at home. Um, so I had dinner, uh, which obviously has some calories. 
Um, but my goal is to eat at least 3,000 calories or more. So I have 800 calories, um, 2,200, 2,300. I have like seven, 800 calories to add to my diet. That I stuff like that I have to eat like really quickly, and I have the standard stuff, and then I add 800 every single day. So I know what to eat for the standard stuff. And then I need to make sure every single day that I eat 800 calories. So I'm not gonna pay any, any attention to uh, the split of those calories. Um, I do wanna pay attention um, to how much protein um, that I make sure I have enough protein during the day. But uh, the fats and carbs split, I don't really give a fuck about um, the last eight, 700 uh, calories. So, you know, Snickers bars, like one Snickers bars, is um, 250 calories, which is um, uh, 11 grams of fat, 30 carbs, and four protein. Like, I mean, I, I'll just eat one or two of these a day. And then um, walnuts, also some good fats. Standard stuff, the standard stuff in a diet is clean. Um, it's pretty clean, um, very clean. And um, the rest, I just don't give a fuck. I, because otherwise, I will not, will not be able to do it. I cannot eat so much. During the day, I am a very bad eater. I'm a very small eater, so it's very hard for me to eat enough. Um, so hopefully this way, it's easier for me to do. Also, I have a new workout routine that I'll go over in the videos. Um, I plan to upload a Monday, Wednesday, Friday video. Today, I wanna film the full day, so the first episode will be on a Tuesday, which is tomorrow. Uh, the day you're watching is probably Tuesday, because I, I did wanna start on a Monday, just like a Monday, and then uh, film all day today, and then upload on Tuesday. So, uh, but yeah, pretty simple. Right now, I'm gonna hit the gym. I'm gonna take with me is just a banana and a Snickers bar. And um, then we're good to go. I just need to make sure to get my G Fuel. Lael wants some too, so um, yeah. I wanna stay doing the commentaries because I feel like um, it helps. I can go over the new yoga routine, I can just talk about form, I talk about the sets and stuff. Um, so yeah, let's just go into the gym because I've had enough talking. What's going on my friends? Welcome to the commentary part of this video. I welcome you to the game game series. I am so, so, so excited for this. Uh, I've been putting it off way too long. It's after summer. It's time to bulk up. It's time to get bigger. And I want you guys to join me with this project. Now, uh, this bulking series, as I said in this video, I think is going to be like 10 to 12 weeks. Um, oh, I'm planning on doing 10 to 12 weeks. It, it all depends on how it goes and stuff. Um, I do have a little bit of a problem with eating. I just cannot eat enough. But I'm trying my best to eat 3,000 calories, 3,000 calories a day. But right now, we're going to be talking about the workout. I made myself a workout split for 10 weeks uh, with two deload weeks. Uh, it's split in uh, week one to four. Then the fifth week is deload. Then six to nine. Then the tenth week is also deload. So um, I will go over the workout in this video that I did with Lil. Again. First gym day is a push day. So we have bench press and we have triceps. Um, we have chest and we have triceps. Now, uh, the first thing that I wanna say is I did more sets on bench than I've ever done before. Usually, as you guys know, I did five times eight. Um, now, I had trained with someone recently and he did seven sets, uh, three times five, four times 10. So what you do basically is you do the first three sets. Obviously, you warm up first, you do like three warm-up sets building up to the weight you want to use for five reps. And you try to do that um, uh, for, for three sets with five repetitions. Um, so you can go a little bit heavier on this, and this is where we're going to develop our strength. So uh, I, I did it now with 80 kilos, which for me is a, a good amount. Uh, again, I'm still building up, guys. Uh, bench press is not my strong point. Um, 80 kilos, so we did three times five with 80 kilos. I actually needed some help. Um, on the last set of uh, five, um, which is very unfortunate, but um, next week we're gonna make sure we don't that doesn't happen. Then you do four times ten. You pick a weight that's lower, but you you pick a weight that is just about high enough so you can struggle for four times ten. Uh, after the three times five, uh, four sets of ten is like super super heavy. You're gonna completely like almost fatigue already with uh, chest, which <laughs> you're gonna get destroyed. So the next exercise is gonna be incline dumbbell press. Dumbbells is something I've I've neglected for so long since I always had the most pain in my shoulder when doing dumbbells. So, um, but yeah, I am implemented again 
incline dumbbell press, obviously incline for a little bit more of the top part of the chest, which is also great. Then, a machine press, one of my favorites to do for chest, and I've been doing it for so long, uh, three times eight, as well as the incline dumbbell press, three times eight. Um, not too high sets, not too high reps. Obviously, after the bench press, you're going to be pretty knackered. So, um, the last one for chest is going to be a cable crossover. Uh, three times 12, I like to do a little bit more higher reps on the chest fly because obviously you're going to finish it off and going to completely stretch and the pump, you're going to just finish the chest right there. So, I, I really prefer to do 12 reps. Um, for the bench press, we have two to three times, uh, two to three minutes of rest period in between sets, a little bit longer period so we can uh, make sure we recover in between. And for the other exercise, all going to be one to two minutes. So, uh, well, if you train with someone else, you can just switch um, every now and then. So when he does his set, you rest and then vice versa. Uh, the first exercise for triceps is something that I've never, ever, ever, ever done. Well, I've done it before, but like never did it in like a in a workout schedule or like I've never liked close gear bench press for triceps but I am going to learn it again because I've never been a fan of it I always had pain in my shoulders but it's like such a great exercise to do for triceps so I really wanted to do it uh, in this workout routine the last exercise is going to be just a straight bar extension um, five times ten the close gear bench press is five times eight um, so yeah, that's going to be it for this workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, tomorrow we're going to go over back and then every other day we're going to just go over the other days in the gym. I appreciate you guys uh, watching. If you uh, enjoyed it, please leave a like. Uh, it's been a long time since we did this, Leon. We just finished our training. It was tough. It was good though. I feel good. Uh, we took a picture that's pretty epic. I'm going to put it on the screen right here. This is the starting physique before the book, I guess. This is the first day, so we had to take a picture. Um, yeah, it's time to bulk up, definitely. But a uh, good training session. Um, hope you enjoyed the commentary. Right now, I'm going to the grocery store. Take a lay with me as well. You need some banana. I need some other stuff. And then I'll check in with you guys at home. When we go eat, eat again. A bulk life, you know, we eat again. My best friend, my best friend, 50 grams of protein. Yes! This is another thing that I always make in the evening. I need one more thing and that out oats. This is what I call the shake of life. Now, I do miss one ingredient, which is the protein powder, which is kind of like important, but I ran out. I ordered a new one, but it, I think it comes like at the end of the week, which kind of sucks, but a little bit of oats. Not too much because the, the more oats you do, the thicker it becomes and I don't really want a very thick uh, shake. Uh, then I add some frozen berries. So I kind of just eyeball, that's enough. Eyeball it like that. Then I have a banana, then I have creatine and milk. This is a big banana, dude. This is at least like 30 carbs or something. This is maybe even more. It's a very big one. All right, added some more milk. Now we have a full, like... <laughs> a lot of drink and it's around i think it's like 300 calories uh with the proteins added so without the proteins a little bit less it's like 220 ish it's like a little bit of a snack in between um other meals all right everybody it's um 12 something right now v's in the background chilling um we just <clears throat> had some nachos i'm gonna show you guys the snapchat that i took v what a fuck this is bulking life you support my you support my bulking life. I love it. Uh, I forgot to bring my camera, which is kind of dumb. But we're gonna eat the last meal of the day. What do you want to drink, by the way? The last meal is another quark. This is like 45 grams of protein, no fats, like very little carbs. So this is the last thing we're gonna eat, and then um, I'm gonna end the video. Thank you so much for watching the first episode. Uh, more to come. My plan is to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. As I said again. This is the first one, it's gonna be on Tuesday and then the second one on Wednesday and Friday. Next week will be normal schedule of Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But leave a like on the video if you like the new series. If you have any ideas for it, please leave them down below in the comments. I really appreciate it and I'll talk to you guys later. Deuces, good night, ciao. Good night.